Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and this is part two of our review of the WIM-1 smartwatch, our video series. And uh, right now in, this, in part two we're going to show you the WIM companion app, which is available free in the Android market. And uh, it basically lets you link your WIM-1 to your uh, smartphone and via Bluetooth which enables you then to be able to receive your SMS text messages and also let you know when someone's trying to call you. Uh, you actually can't answer the phone call with your watch but you can dismiss it and I'll uh, show you that in a bit but um, it's pretty easy to set up. I figured I'd go through the walkthrough here and uh, show you how it's done. All right now I'll get it installed and uh, put that down while it's installing. Now on the watch itself we'll need to go into settings and if you remember the menus down here and uh, these are all the different apps and of course there's the settings and we're gonna go down to Bluetooth which is off which it would be your default unless you turn it on it should be off uh, when you first uh, get the uh, watch and uh, so go ahead and turn it on very simple and straightforward Okay, so now you can see that it's discoverable, and basically I have the app is already installed right here, and all we have to do is add a WIM device. Now, uh, let me just quickly show you the app itself also. Uh, you Basically, this is the phone part of it where uh, you check off if you want SMS text messaging or caller ID display, and then here is the uh, store. And over here is uh, more information that you can uh, go to uh, via their website. Um, right now I can't, well I'll have to log in. I'll log in in a little bit here and I'll show you that. Uh, you can go to their full site. And let's add a WIM device. Basically it's telling you to go to Bluetooth, go to your settings, and uh, search for, uh, for devices. In my situation it was already found. Uh, because I've already had it set up originally so basically you, what you would do is you would search for devices and like I said in my case I don't need to because it's already here um, but that would be the difference and once it comes up then you just tap it so I'm going to go ahead and tap on it now and it should uh, connect and right away it's giving make sure that it has the number 297630 it matches on both devices so we can go ahead and click pair and I will go ahead and hit pair on the watch now one thing I do find when I first do this it says connected on the watch but it isn't on my phone it takes a couple seconds uh, or a little bit here to actually get connected so I'm going to wait here uh, for it to connect okay it's now connected you can see it's um, uh, connected with this phone so we're all set there and basically I'm going to quickly log in uh, to the accounts here and um, we'll uh, show you there what the store looks like uh, before I get into the text and the phone calls okay now we're logged in and the store is in the middle tab here and basically that's the micro app store and you can this is just like it would be on the desktop pretty much you can go through and look at all the apps and we're going to be going over some of these in my next video but I'll just go through it quickly here some of them might already installed like on my coffee card and the calculator here there's a news reader there's a bunch of different things here um, and you can go ahead and click on them and then basically add them right from here and when you add them from here once next time your uh, WIM1 syncs bingo it's installed so pretty straightforward over here on this tab is pretty much the desktop version of the site and you can go in and look at how many your devices if you have more than one uh, the forums and some developer information and uh, there's the micro app store beta right there as well again this is like the desktop version of the of the site uh, so that's pretty much it so now 
let's go ahead and uh, place a phone call. We're still connected. This will be connected full time now uh, from this point forward unless you get uh, 30 feet away from the device. Let's go ahead and place a phone call um, to my cell phone here and see what the see what happens with the WIM one. You can see it's showing me right away that it's ringing, and of course it was already uh, started on my on my cell phone as well. And you can see a little picture of the image there. Now you can't take the phone call, but you can dismiss it or obviously decide to take the phone out of your pocket. But I can send it right to voicemail. Bingo, all done. And that's how you do it. Very simple. Now let's send a uh, text message. And bingo, there's a text message. Now, again, you cannot respond to this text message. You can only read it, take a look at it, and then when you're done, swipe it away. And, of course, it will be there if you don't look at it and the display goes out. You can still uh, get it. Let's actually do that again. I'll send a text message and let the um, display time out. So there's the text message. We'll let the display time out. There it is. So if you just couldn't look at it for a second and you were writing something or whatever, you can go in here tap the device open it up and once you swipe down there it is so you'll always uh, now with phone calls though you won't have a missed phone call uh, that one would just completely goes away uh, so basically that's how that goes so um, and I think in fact it might even be still there because I didn't swipe it away yet once I swipe it away then it's gone Oh, and let me show you one other thing with the text messages. If you get multiple text messages, uh, they will list them all separately. And let me show you how that works. Let me. Do, I'll just send over a bunch of text messages. And hold on a second here. Okay, so I got a bunch of text messages. And or not a bunch. I have three. So here you go. So they list them out here. So you can click on them each in, or tap on them each individually, and there you have it. And there's uh, you know a little longer text message that shows all the data. I know it looks like a bunch of garbled stuff there, but uh, that's actually telling me my garage door was opened, and here it is telling me it's closed. And here's the last text message. So that's a nice feature that works well. So there you have it. It's pretty simple. That's the um, the uh, Wim, Wim Companion app for the Wim One, and um, it works very well. In fact, I have a Galaxy Nexus, and um, I leave my phone on vibrate all the time. And the Galaxy Nexus has probably the worst uh, vibrate vibrator uh, of all phones I've ever I've ever seen or felt, <laughs> and. Um, I can't tell you how many calls I've missed and uh, this will help me a lot I'll know when someone's trying to call me in fact actually earlier today it, the phone was in my pocket I perfect example did not feel it whatsoever and the uh, watch vibrated and beeped because it does both there you can turn off the sound and just have it vibrate or whatever but it does it vibrated and made the sound and um, I was able to pick up the phone call without missing it so um, it works very well, um, so 
basically now we're going to move on to part three coming up. That'll probably take me a few days because I'm going to go through some apps and um, you know put together um, put together some apps uh, to show you what uh, you know some of the special uh, features and stuff. You know the ones that are in the app store, not the like the calculator there and the coffee card and the sporty pal. There's uh, that's a full workout app. So we're looking forward to that. That's going to be in part three. So for now, thanks for watching part two. Look forward to part three soon. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.